morning, everybody. Happy Sabbath. I hope that you are having a splendiferous day and are truly blessed. Today, I want to talk about something that is so dear to my heart. Food. Oh, I love food. It's so good and tasty and yummy. And ah, oh, I could talk all day about food, but that's not the point. I want to show you some of the foods that I really love. So, first of all, I love snacks here and there. Not all the time, but just here and there. And so I love Nature Valley bars. And this is one of my favorites. It's dark chocolate cherry. It's almost like having dessert in the middle of the day. Mmm, yummy. But I wouldn't encourage dessert in the middle of the day. Not a good idea. Unless you've had like something to eat before, like lunch or dinner. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. This is Honeycrisp Apple. These are my favorite, favorite apples. And the one thing I really do enjoy it with is peanut butter. Yummy! That's my mom's favorite treat in the morning. Peanut butter and apples. Okay, let's see. Oh yes, and on occasion, I love oatmeal. And I love to put raisins in my oatmeal. It's good, good stuff. All right, let's see. Um, dum, 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 dum. All right, and then I absolutely love avocados. Oh, I love avocados. They're mm, so good. And I love to make an avocado dip with them. But instead of using uh, tortilla chips, I love, 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 love to use Triscuit crackers. Ooh, so good. Yummy. Okay, and then my favorite snack is pistachios. Ah, oh, so good. I have great memories of me going to visit my great-grandmother, and we used to eat pistachios all the time for snacks. Oh, so good. I might have to open these up later and have a few, because it's good. All right. Well, the point of all of that is that this is good to sustain you physically and to keep you healthy, but what about our spiritual health? John 6.35 says, And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. Well, in order to sustain our spiritual health, we need to do things to keep it healthy. Like pray to God every day, first thing in the morning, last thing at night, and to be honest, throughout all the day. And then it's also important to read your Bible. Study your Bible understand what it has to say and if you haven't really started studying the Bible I would encourage you to start reading the Psalms there are a lot of Psalms and you don't have to read you know Psalms chapter 1 through the whole thing you can just read a Psalm a day and I have actually done that it's it's good and uh, it takes a while but you will learn a lot. And also, it's good to have a devotional. A friend of mine gave me this devotional book. It's called Jesus Calling. And it's short. They're not very long. But they're just little things that you can read. And uh, it doesn't take very long, but they're very thought-provoking. And I also have a friend, thank you, Wayne, who sends me devotionals every morning that I truly do enjoy myself. So I would encourage you to take some time and to really grow spiritually and feed your spiritual soul. So I hope that I have not made you too hungry, <laughs> and I pray that you are blessed and that you will take time to grow spiritually. God bless. Amen.